Good day and welcome to the dining room table. South Africa files genocide case against Israel. Subscribe, like, and share. South Africa put out a message that they are gravely concerned with what's happening in Gaza. They go on to say, furthermore, there are ongoing reports of international crimes, such as crimes against humanity and war crimes being committed, as well as reports of acts meeting the threshold of genocide or related crimes as defined in the 1940 Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of Genocide have been and may still be committed in the context of ongoing massacres in Gaza. Now, South Africa said enough is enough, but South Africa is the home of the late Nelson Mandela, anti-apartheid activist and the first South African president. And they looked at what's going on and they said enough is enough. They're not going to uh, sit back and watch it anymore. And here comes another press release. The Republic of South Africa institutes proceedings against the state of Israel on quest of courts to indicate provisional measures. Now, the international courts of justice, just like any uh, court, it is that they, they have been alleged to have done uh, this crime and they have to go to a court and they have to give their argument and we will see what happens. So the International Court of Justice put out this uh, press release that says it is the crime of genocide according to the application acts and omissions by Israel, genocidal acts against Palestinian people in Gaza. It goes on to say South Africa seeks to found the court's jurisdiction on Article 38, Paragraph 1 of the Statute of the Court and on Article 9 of the Genocide Convention to which both South Africa and Israel are parties. Now, the International Court of Justice, the ICJ, is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations. You could see some of my other videos where we put out some of um, representatives of the other countries were speaking on the different issues. It was established by the United Nations Charter in June 1945 and began its activities in April 1946. So, uh, representative uh, from Israel, spokesperson of the Israel Ministry of Foreign Affairs, hit back and said, uh, South Africa's claim lacks both a factual and legal basis uh, and constitutes a despicable and contemptuous exploitation of the court. South Africa is cooperating with a terrorist organization that is calling for the destruction of the state of Israel. Doesn't it seem like not too happy about this this case, right? Uh, the Hamas terrorist organization, which is committing war crimes against humanity and sought to commit genocide on 7 October, is responsible for the suffering of the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip by using them as human shields. So we're not reading everything, but you, you see their message after that case has been, uh, has been filed. Um, and they go on to say Israel has made it clear that the residents of the Gaza Strip are not the enemy and is making every effort uh, to uh, limit harm to civilians and to facilitate the entry of humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip. We call on the international courts of justice uh, to, re to completely reject South Africans baseless claim. That is uh, the message from the spokesperson in Israel. Now, the prime minister uh, has uh, a couple words on, on South Africa as well, but then goes on to say, "We, you were not there because everything you are doing now is only hot air, lies, and vanity. We will continue our defensive war, the justice and morality of which is without peer. Now, Jordan has stepped in, uh, and it is translated uh, by Google. Al Kasawe, we will provide the necessary uh, legal studies, arguments, as soon as the International Court of Justice decides to consider the genocide lawsuit submitted by South Africa, which is a case not 
a consultation. So they're basically saying this is nothing to talk about. This is an actual case based on the genocide convention. That is uh, the prime ministry of Jordan. Now, Turkey uh, came out to say, we welcome the application filed by the Republic of South Africa to the International Court of Justice regarding Israel's violation of its obligation under the 1948 Convention of the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. Israel's massacre of more than 22,000 Palestinian civilians in Gaza, the majority of whom were women and children for nearly three months, must not go unpunished and the perpetrators must be held accountable under international law that is from the Republic of Turkey. They go on to post, we hope that the process will be completed as soon as possible. But check this out. Turkey will also follow the implementation of the decision. So whatever uh, the conclusion of this case is, um, if found guilty, the punishment, Turkey will be a part of making sure that decision uh, is followed through. Uh, I didn't say it. This is what, what Turkey is posting. Now, the International Court of Justice uh, put out uh, an actual time for this, for this court. They will hear the oral argument uh, from South Africa uh, today, Thursday, uh, January 11th. We will be covering that. And then the oral argument uh, from Israel Friday, January 12th, we'll be covering that. So make sure you stay locked, uh, subscribe, like, and share, watch the other videos uh, in order to uh, stay up on all this news. Peace.